Hello. How y'all doing? I've been um, literally 4.30 in the morning. I've been up for a while exercising, you know, exercising, resting, stuff like that. I've been doing it for a couple hours now. But I wanted to address this thing that they call um, is disguised um, as the body positivity movement when in reality it is the obese positivity movement because this whole thing that they're trying to call body positivity movement does not include girls who are super thin or people who choose to take care of themselves um, and you know you tone up and all that stuff and just just basically being healthy weight wise having a healthy weight okay um, me personally I am obese my doctor uh, told me uh, uh, about six months ago that I was at risk for a stroke and a heart attack um, been focusing on myself um, I wanted to talk about this obese positivity movement because one thing that I noticed about this whole movement is that women are lying to themselves okay they're lying to themselves you know what being morbidly obese saying oh I'm I'm a bad b-i-t-c-h or I you know I'm sexy and all this I mean okay when it comes to what a man wants that's something different you know there are guys who like excels and there's nothing wrong with that but i think i feel that a lot of women are lying to themselves they're trying to like put on this fake personality they're trying to put put on a front as if oh i'm so proud of my stretch marks i'm so proud of this i'm so proud of that i must admit i have said once that when I really start to get wrinkles and lines in my face and whatever, I want to. I've said that I definitely want to have earned it. That means what I meant when I what I meant when I said that. I'm saying that I really love living life. I like to go back to school. I like to learn as much as I can learn. Things like that. But women are lying to themselves because if that was not the case, you know, a lot some women wouldn't feel so bad about their weight they wouldn't feel so bad about people trying to shame them you know let's say that you're somebody who is toned up and thin and trim and all that stuff if and you're just I, you know if somebody was to come to you and say something negative if you know that you got it together then that's not going to bother you correct you know and it's like you know and i'm not like trying to attack anybody but it seems to me that that happens a lot okay these women is like you know you know that that's not right you know you know and you have some women who try to act like oh i'm representing for the big sexy but you know good and well that you don't you know you don't look sexy you don't look sexy to yourself okay and you know that's the reason behind you having women who have low self-esteem or they all they get to the point where they start crying because old oh, people are saying this because you're lying to yourself about what's going on you know i had respects for you know the baby doll beauty couture plus size salon owner I appreciate what she did for plus size women. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm, I'm not morally obese. I never did break any chairs or anything like that. I imagine that would be quite embarrassing. But what I learned from watching that show is that when I have my salon, you know, doing people's nails, I'm, I probably will have, you know, some furniture that is gonna cater to somebody who's a little overweight. That's fine. Okay, that's what I learned from that show. And I think, you know, Jamie Lopez, I think that's her name, you know, for putting that out there. But what have we also learned? Okay. 
as an obese woman myself, you know, that the owner wound up dying at 37. You know, could somebody please tell me what is positive about me, my doctor telling me that you are at risk for a stroke and a heart attack? When I, there was one time when I was running for a bus, I don't really, um, the only time I um, really ride the bus is like when I, um, my car's in the shop or something like that. And I remember one time I had to run for the bus. It was only a few feet. And when I got on a bus, I could barely breathe because I had ran those few steps. Okay, I ran and I almost passed out. I couldn't even talk. I was trying to tell her I was that out of breath. That's bad to be that out of breath. Okay, and I, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I already have health problems. I do have breathing problems. But being having weight on you and being obese, that's not helping. You're shortening your lifespan. Okay. And, you know, if you want to sit here and be positive, go ahead you can take care of your body you know who's stopping you from going to you know victoria's secret or bath and body works and you know you know putting on that good smelling uh uh perfume and the lotion and you know being neat neat and clean from top to bottom what's wrong with buying yourself some nice shoes or buying yourself some earrings you can be positive about yourself ladies but don't lie to yourself about what's going on okay because you got other women you know who's cheering you on cheering you on and they know good and well they know good and well that that's they know that it's it's not it's not cute and it's not they know that you may not live too long okay diabetes having diabetes ain't sexy okay being obese and morbidly obese to a point where you can't even walk, that's not sexy. What's positive about that? You getting your arms and legs cut off because you, your blood isn't flowing the way that it should to different limbs of your body. And there's no blood circulating. You developing uh, lymph lymphedema and all that stuff. There, you can even be uh, hindering. Oh, there's even, because um, I was talking to my doctor. Okay, and you can even wind up having irregular periods because of the fact that you're overweight. It can give you irregular periods. You may not be ovulating the way that you should. Okay, maybe you, you, I see I'm 40, I'm about to be 41 years old. I'm cool with that. But, and I'm not trying to have any babies right now. But, you know, what if I was somebody who's trying to have babies? You, I mean, there are people who are in their 20s who are obese or been obese since they was young. It's like, it is so many things that is not positive about this obese positivity movement because that's really what it is because when y'all say positive body positivity you don't mean everybody you mean that you mean people who was morbidly obese you mean people who got a whole bunch of rolls and flaps in their back okay and it's like i'm a huge fan of you know i'm a huge i was always a huge fan of big fun big pun or whatever i even though he was cute i didn't care how big he was he was cute but, you know, I was watching a documentary on him and he was saying how, you know, I think somebody had said that he, I don't know if they was talking about, asked to him if he was lucky or something, something they said. And he was like, no, you're lucky because you can breathe. He had issues breathing. Okay. It was one time that I was in, I think it was shot right or whatever. And I, you know how you in line, you got to run back and get something that you forgot. I did that, man. I almost passed out. Okay, now I'm not gonna lie, that happens sometimes even when I was skinny because I do, I do have, uh, I do have breathing issues. But still, like I said, being obese is not helping. So, you know, that's pretty much all I had to say about it. But, you know, if women are gonna, you know, if they're going to keep lying to, to themselves about what's going on, that, that the truth is they're not going to live too long. They're going to be forced to face the truth whether they like it or not.